Aloha, Athena Angelique with Such Good Dogs. Today's trainer tip, we're going to talk about getting your dog used to being touched or giving your dog a dog exam. This is something that I recommend everybody do. Your vet will also thank you for doing so. So some dogs don't like being touched in certain areas on their body, but we have to get them used to being touched in all areas because the vet is going to examine them and sometimes you might need to touch them in those certain areas. So, one thing you always want to do have your treats ready. This is Devo. Start with the treat. I also recommend you do this after your dog has had exercise so they have a little less energy to put up a fight. Good boy. Okay. Then I'm going to get him close to me. Good boy. Okay, a couple of things I highly recommend. You see? Good boy. You want to touch all over your dog's body. So their head. Gonna get them used to looking in their eyes, looking in their ears, look in there. Something that's really important is you want your dog to be able to open his mouth so you can look in their mouth if something happens, like they get in a scuffle or some things like that. Sometimes they can get owies in their mouth. So we want to be able to go like this. And you can stick your fingers in there a little bit, take a peek inside. They're obviously not gonna like it. Paws are also very important. Get your dog used to having his paws touched. Good. Good. Make sure you tell your dog good and that you remain calm. Okay. Go all the way down your dog's body so you're touching everything. Your vet is going to examine all the way down, be touching all over everything. Go back to touch the back paws as well. There have been incidences where my dogs have stepped on glass or something that got stuck in their paw, so I had to be able to go in their paw and get that out. So you want to check that, get them used to touching their tail, even used to looking underneath their tail. Good boy! Good! One other thing I highly recommend is get your dog used to having their ears clean. So we have some Q-tips here, and all I did was put a little bit of cold water on them. Devo, sit. Good. Yeah. Get your dog to lay down. Back up a little so you can see. Yeah. Good. See that? Good boy. Get your dog to roll on their side, and then use a Q-tip. Obviously, don't put it in too far into their ear. But just to clean out their ears a little bit, this is something I started with Bevo when he was a puppy. Even though he's always had pretty clean ears, this is something you want your dogs to be used to doing. So that if you do ever have to clean their ears, it's not a chore. Good boy! Now we're going to flip him over and do the other side. Ooh. Nice and gentle and calm. He does actually have a little sand in his ears that he can clean out. Good boy! Good boy! When you're all done, we get a treat. Thanks for watching. Such a good job.